Hello everybody and welcome to Blue Jays Today, where you boys always have something to say about the Toronto Blue Jays. I'm your host, Nicholas Playlog. And I'm your host, Adam Peddle. And today, guys, we're going to be talking about five MLB hot takes that are actually true. Before we get into it, guys, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Let's get right into it, Nick. We got these submitted by you guys on our mm -hmm. Instagram, our YouTube. So these are all from you guys right here. We got one right off the top from Mantis saying... You'll probably get better suggestions. Well, Mantis, this is a really good one. There you go. He's saying that a potential increase in speed because of the new uh, stolen ba or the new bag sizes, right, and limiting pickoff attempts. He's saying that the hot takes are stolen bases across the league doubles from 2022 to 2023. Now that's pretty hot. That's spicy, bro. That's pretty darn that's spicy. spicy. But I'm telling you right now, I really like his reasoning right there. Base size is going to get bigger. Pitch clock. We have absolutely, and I feel like this is something that does not get dis discussed enough. But how is this going to affect the game? How, right, how is this right. going to? How is this going to handle? Like, how are pitchers going to handle this? Are they going to implode? I have no idea, right? So I do think that his reasoning is sound. When we look at the numbers from stolen bases, yeah, yeah. though, um, that right there is the total amount, right. and, and just the the thought of doubling that. Like it seems ridiculous because I think we we looked back here and like yeah. the the best you know stolen base season ever didn't quite crack it's four thousand. It's not 000. even four thousand. It didn't quite crack four thousand. So no. we'd be we'd be asking for an increase that would go over five thousand. Yeah. So that's a maybe a little bit too hot for me, but I do right. think that he's on to something with the stolen bases being up a lot. Oh yeah, I feel like it could touch the three thousand mark, maybe the mid three thousand mark for sure. But yeah, doubling it, I mean. We don't know. Maybe because we've never seen this type of rule implementation in the past. So, like, maybe it does happen. Maybe it doesn't. But uh, we'll have to find out. Well, as far as I'm concerned, I I actually do believe it's going over four thousand. In fact, oh. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna say though, it's like I do think that we're gonna see the most stolen bases ever. I don't know if it Ooh. quite doubles. Okay, though. that see that's a that's a hot take I could probably buy. Yeah, you know I could buy. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's All right. move on. Moving on to the next one right here, folks. We've got one in from Shane Baltzer right here saying the Angels have a negative record by the deadline and deal Otani. Now, this one, what do you think in terms of hotness in this one? I feel like that's actually might realistic. Well, I think that could actually happen. The thing is, is like you, you say that a year ago and everyone's like, oh my God, <laughs> blasphemy. How could you say that? A year ago. A for year sure. ago. But now it feels like the media, I mean, like, hell, we're even part of this. It's like yeah. everyone's just kind of saying, like, it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. And even though the Angels management, they're not even on board yet, it just feels like we've all just kind of accepted that, like, Otani's going to get traded. He, as he should. The management for the Angels need to realize that. Look, if you're going to have a negative record by deadline, if you don't trade them, what are you doing? That division's really well, tough. Well, okay, first part of that thing then, do you think that they are going to have a negative record by trade yep. deadline? Yeah, you think yep. that they're, they're going to be below 500? Yep. It's, you know what, I, I want to be with you guys, LA. I really do. It's like I see you guys trying stuff out there. It just is not working, man. No. Like, I got to see a little bit of results before I can get behind that bandwagon. So I do agree with that as well. And if you are, if it's, that's the thing, though. It, is it significant enough behind 500? Like, they're only two games below 500. Yeah, yeah. Do they trade him? I Probably don't think not. so. No, no. But they got to be like, like 15. 10, 15. Yeah. That's yeah. in the, like, okay, like, we got to do Absolutely. something right now. Absolutely. You guys let us know in the comments down below if you think that he's going to be treated by the deadline. Uh, up next, we got this one. I believe it's from our Instagram. We got the Thy Thyantic. Thyantic? The underscore the Titanic. Thy something. Th I don't know, man. Titan no <laughs> idea, man. Uh, Whatever. Cubs win the <laughs> NL Central. Ooh. Ooh. Throwing it back to 2016. Yeah. Big, totally that different team, though, nowadays, guys. And when we look at that... And now Central, like yeah. initially when I saw this one, I was like, no, you know, like, yeah, 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 no. But when you look at it, it's like, oh, I actually, I... the path isn't that hard. No, I mean, I mean, you have to have a big collapse from the Cardinals. That's the obvious team. Yes. I feel like the Brewers are pretty prone to collapse. It's possible. The, the Pirates, the Reds, they're not really going to be competitive at all. Where the Cubs are actually coming up making a push, so yeah. it's a hot take for sure. But I, it's a reality that is probably the third best likely absolutely of this, of this and, and i mean i i actually think that the cubs are probably going to have a better season than the milwaukee brewers next yeah, year yeah. like literally not anything happening i just think that the cubs are going to have a better season mentality wise 
Cubs are on the upswing. They're making moves. You know, the Brewers, they're in conversations about trading Corbin Burns, right. getting rid of Brandon Woodruff. Those yeah. are their two guys. If they're like, am I even going to be on this team by trade deadline? Like, are they going to be playing their best baseball? I don't know, right? So... I, I do believe that it's definitely spicy, but I like the Cubs a lot, and I just feel like the mentality of that city is like, okay, it's time, we're winning, today, yeah. one Arenado injury, one Goldschmidt injury, mm -hmm. bam, there they are. I mean, exactly, right? They're pretty competitive. They'll be pretty competitive. Yeah, do they make playoffs this year? Uh, Again, that's a hot take. Uh, that is a hot take. I think that they. I think that they're very, very like. There's the thing. The, I'm, yeah, I'm arguing that they could win the central, so I can't say that well, they're not going to make. Well, playoffs. here's the thing. If you look at the the uh, wild card teams in the NL, I mean, you're going to have like Padres or Dodgers in mm. that mix, right? And then you're going to go over to the East side, and you got you got the Mets, you got the Atlanta Braves, and right. the Phillies. One of those two are going to be in the wild card, so it's it's kind of hot. I mean, that's true actually, because to make playoffs, you effectively need to win the central. Yeah, with all exactly. of those other teams exactly. that are going to be competing there. Exactly. So, okay, yeah, it's going to be close, guys. Comment down below. All right, and then our next one right here we got from Peter Collins. He responded to our Instagram saying, Orioles finish above Rays in the standings. This one's pretty darn hot. I like hot. it. I like it. I love it. I mean, I like I, I'm about dethroning those darn Rays. I mm -hmm. mean, everyone's still rating them pretty high, as they should. They've mm -hmm. been a very good team in the past, and not too much has changed with the Rays over the last uh, offseason. But the Orioles to finish over them? What do you think? I think that this is not a comment on the Orioles. Even though the Orioles are making mm -hmm. some good moves and they have some good prospects, I take this as more of a comment against the Rays. Oh. I've been saying it for seasons. <laughs> it's finally time. I don't understand how you keep winning ball games with the team that you field every single I don't day. Get it. They're gonna collapse eventually, guys. This is the season. Raise below 500. Wow. I mean, I I think it's a. I definitely think it's a hot take. I do think the Rays are still gonna be good. I still think they're gonna be good. Last year they were so injured. They were so injured last year, and that's what happens. The Blue Jays could get injured. The Yankees could get injured. Or we could end up like the Rays mm -hmm. next season. Mm -hmm. But the Orioles, I feel like, still got a bit to prove, and the Rays got a bit to prove to bounce back from last year. So how, many, how many wins did the Orioles get last year? Oh, my gosh, I don't know. It was very close. Was it not 500? Or like, it was close. It was close. It was pretty damn but close, I, dude. But that's the thing is Orioles were full, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, were pretty much fully healthy, but the Rays were a disaster, and they still did better. Oh, man. So, I, you know, uh, honestly, I vibe with this one a lot, guys. Rays below 500. I'm calling it straight up today. Mm -hmm. Quote me. At me at the end of the season. All right, and our last one right here. Shout out to 450 Dead Center. They're coming in with a hot take saying Varsho has 35-plus home run season and bats in the four spot for the lineup by the end of the year. So a little bit of a double hot take mm -hmm. there. Um, 30, we'll start with 35-plus home runs. Pretty doable. We broke down this guy. He has a potential. Wow. He has the potential. It's absolutely doable. It's obviously very, very for sure. difficult, for right? Sure. Like we don't uh, like. Tay Oscar Hernandez. I thought for sure this guy was going over 30 home runs last 40. year. 40. Right? I thought 40. Uh, for sure, right? It's like, you know, like a ton of guys who have the potential to do so. Just season over season, it's very difficult to do, right? Like hitting 35 bombs is nothing to scoff at. I think it is well within his range of outcomes, though. And I actually think that for the second part of this hot take, he doesn't even need to do that to be batting fourth. Oh, God, no. You could hit, you could get 35 home runs in the ninth spot. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, no, but what I'm saying is, even if even if Varsho hit 25 home runs this year, 20, I don't know. I still think that we're going to see him in the fourth spot at some point in this Jays lineup. I think, sure. that that, it, I think that, that righty yeah. lefty split is just going to be too much for John Schneider not to not to throw himself in there right. and pass up. And with the power as well, like, yeah. See, he has to be doing, he has to be clearly doing well by the end of the year. Like, he's got to be doing better than Kirk, of course. He's got to be doing better than Bo Bichette, depending on where they put Bo Bichette in the lineup. Doing better than Matt Chapman. I, I do think if it's between him and Matt Chapman, if they're equal, mm. right, then they would put uh, uh, Mr. Varsha over Matt Chapman. Yeah, exactly, yeah. right? Like, I just think that because he's lefty, he's got an overall advantage to that. So the hard part is hitting the 35 home runs. Yeah. The hard part's yeah. hitting the 35 home runs. And I'd say that probably... 
around 30 to 35 percent of the time he's gonna do it yeah so, so it, it's not even that it's hot it's, it's but hot, it's not that hot but it's definitely 100 percent doable and i'm telling you guys if we want to end up looking back at that trade having given away gabriel moreno and all the like and, and literally who else the fuck did we give up lord Gurriel jr oh my god i've repressed the memory because <laughs> yeah. i love him so much dude if we want to look back at that trade and say hey we won eventually yeah. he's gonna have to hit 35 i agree guys let us know in the comments down below what do you think about these hot takes which one do you think are actually going to happen and if you have any other hot takes let us know down below please hit the like and subscribe button everybody and three dollars on become a patreon member shout and thank you to every single one of these current patreon members you guys are awesome hey guys thank you so much for watching oh don't go